In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create GUIs using MATLAB. So, first of all, we need to call a program called Guide. Then we select as a guide template blank GUI. This is the GUI editor. And let's say our program computes the factorial of a number so there will be an input which will be the number and there will be a button to calculate the factorial and then there will be an output to display the result so we need actually uh, three objects here so we will drag for the input this edit text this will be our input and for the uh, compute or calculate button we need this push button here And for the output, we need a static text, and we'll drag it here. Once we've finished placing our uh, objects for the input and for the computation button and for the output, we need to change some of the properties of these objects by calling the property inspector. To do this, click on an object, right click, select property inspector. Now here we have a window of the property inspector. So let's say for this input edit text, we will change some of the properties like the font size will make it 10. And the let's say here for the string value, we'll erase the string value. And the tag here is very important. The tag is the name of the string variable, which will be used inside the MATLAB code and we'll call this number. We go to the push button and we change some of its properties. Here we will change the uh, string value. We'll call this compute and we'll call the tag here factorial. And for the static text, we'll change some of the parameters here. For example, the background color will make it white. And the font size 10 will make the font weight bold. And here for the string, we'll remove the string text here. And the tag, which will be which is the name of the string variable, we'll call this fact short for factorial once we finished with uh, changing some of the properties of these objects using the inspector properties the next thing to do is to compile and run the GUI by pressing this button here selecting a name for the GUI let's call this factorial Now you can see here, we have here on, in the current directory, two files have been created, factorial.fig and factorial.m. The first one is the GUI itself, while the second one is the code, the automatically generated code or the M file for the uh, GUI. And here we have the run version of the factorial at the moment. This program doesn't do anything, so for example, if I want to find the factorial of 4, and if I press compute, nothing happens, because we need to add the factorial functionality into the compute button. And to do this, we'll go into the factorial M file, and we'll go to the uh, function we created called factorial, and here we will add our code that will calculate and display the factorial of a number. So first of all, we need to get the uh, number from the input for the GUI and we'll store it in a variable called n. And once we get it, we need to uh, convert it from string to number by using this function. So string to number and before we convert it, we need to get it from the GUI by using the get function. 
and here we need to address it via the handles dot and the name of the uh, tag if you remember it was called number and the property we want to get is the string property it means whatever uh, the user inputs into the uh, into that uh, object it will be copied into the variable n so this will be our input statement now we need to do some processing it means we have n we need to calculate the factorial so the algorithm for the factorial is written f equals 1 f will be the initial value of the factorial and we'll use a simple loop for loop that will loop n times and this is the uh, iteration used to find the factorial then we need to convert the uh, the value of the factorial back to string and send it to the output or set it at the output so to do this we need to define another string variable called f and we need to use the function uh, number to string which will convert string uh, to number uh, which will convert sorry number back to string and we'll, for the variable f finally as an output statement we need to set the string value of ff into the object called fact via the handles handles dot fact and set it into the property string and the string variable is ff okay so this part here is the code needed to program the uh, function factorial button once we finish we need to compile and run the M file so save and run factorial M press on it now we have here at the output as you can see the GUI and let's see if it works so let's say we want to find the factorial of 4 compute and we get 24 which is correct let's try another number 5 compute and we get 120 so you can see that uh, the program works of course we can also add some text to the GUI to explain each object for example for the input and for the output and some title and header for the GUI this concludes this tutorial